Thousands of people are coming to Tulsa for 11 days of awesome, but with the fun of the fair also comes that traffic around Expo Square. Fox 23's Fahima Pagmani is live in studio. Now, Fahima, you spoke with people who live near the fairgrounds who say the traffic is a big headache for them. I was at the Tulsa State Fair for just a few hours today, and in that amount of time, dozens of attendees were excited to hurry up and get to all of the fun. But homeowners nearby tell me they are nervous about all of the traffic issues the fair causes when people are trying to find a place to park. You know, parking in the immediate vicinity is expensive. Parking in the neighborhoods is illegal. And even in the spots where it's not illegal, those spots go super quick. Leslie Mullen tells me she's lived near the Tulsa State Fair for many years. This will be my fourth year to live here during the fair. She says the Tulsa State Fair brings thousands of people to Midtown, causing her traffic and parking problems. There is a lot more vehicle traffic, but there's also a lot of people walking. Um, you know, the fair lets out at 11 o'clock at night, and there's people walking around until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And if your yard isn't fenced in, they're going to cut through your yard. They're going to be loud. Another homeowner tells me off camera that anytime someone parks on her property illegally, she just calls the tow truck. While Mullen says that she sees police in the area trying to manage the illegal parking problems. Though I did see one person near my house last year, very nearly got three separate tickets for illegal parking. Um, Somebody snagged him like as soon as he parked and got up and walked away. There was a cop there writing him a ticket and then two other cops stopped to leave a ticket but stopped when they saw he already had one on his windshield. Paid parking is available near the fair, but that will cost you about $20. Don't even sneak a spot on the grass either. There are signs posted banning drivers from parking there. Is this really what we've come to societally that people can't look at this area and think I shouldn't park here? It's not people parking on the street. It's no parking on the grass. So somebody must have parked on the grass at some point to elicit those signs. On Fox 23 News at 6, you'll hear from some fairgoers about what they're doing to avoid the traffic and save a few dollars. Covering News That Matters, I'm Fahima Pagmani, Fox 23 News. If you're thinking of parking illegally to get into the fair quicker, just know the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office will be out there giving out parking tickets. So be kind of mindful of that and you might even get towed.